In this problem, we have two parallel plates, each with a uh, with a surface area of A, one of them having a charge Q, the other one having a charge of negative Q, and our goal is to find out what is the uh, work done by the two parallel plates whenever they move a distance of epsilon closer together, and then also um, the second part is what's the total energy lost by the system whenever that happens. So right off the bat, we should uh, we can at least know the relationship between these two values. We know that the you know absence of anything that, you know spooky happening uh, in, in the um, in the system right here, we know that the work done should be equal to the energy lost right here. Um, but uh, uh, the the problem hints us to do it um, two different ways just to make sure that they verify. So. At the very, go ahead and then attacking uh, part A, we know at the very basic level that force is equal to, or uh, work is equal to force times distance. And then we can describe this area, uh, the system using uh, you know, electrostatic potential. So we say P is equal to, and this is the definition for the electrostatic potential between the two um, parallel plates from the earlier in the chapter. And if you're not familiar with this, I recommend going back in the chapter and reviewing it. And, Again, at the basic uh, level, we know that um, force or pressure is equal to force distributed over some area. So if we're looking to make the substitution in, we can just go ahead and solve for force, which is just these values right here. And I'll go ahead and make that substitution over here. So we have epsilon naught over 2 uh, times the electric field squared oh, times the area. And then our D right here is just equal to epsilon, whoops, epsilon, which is that small amount here. Not not to be confused with epsilon, not. So that's the work done. And again, um, using our knowledge of conservation of energy, uh, we can just easily say that that is equal to the work, the energy lost by the parallel plates whenever that work happens. But uh, we were hinted to use it in a different way. And, oh yeah, by the way, we're supposed to um, get it in terms, we're supposed to get the work in terms of these values right here because it kind of feeds into the next problem, but um, that's our answer for the part A. For moving down to part B, we were hinted to use the energy lost uh, and specifically used, uh, use a, like an equation earlier in the chapter. I think that um, equation uh, described the energy, so I'll just energy per... Uh, the unit volume, and then is, and that was described as, I can go ahead and, uh, the energy per unit volume, which is equal to uh, epsilon naught over 2 times the electric field squared, All right? So if we want to find the energy lost, we can use the energy, it's pretty simple, we just multiply both sides by the volume. I'll just go ahead and write it in white, so both sides times the volume. Uh, which is equal to epsilon naught over 2 squared, and the volume that's uh, uh, within the system, so the, the volume that these two parallel plates make up is, of course, uh, epsilon times the area. So we'll go ahead and write it over here, right here, epsilon times the area. And now we go ahead, and <laughs> this is our energy that was lost in the system. Let's go ahead and Move this out of the way. There you go. And so if we compare the two answers right here, these are the exact same answers, except the A and the E, the epsilon are just uh, uh, in a little bit of different order. But um, as, you, as you can see, we just found two different ways to get the same answer, which we do a lot in physics, but just to verify the relationship between those two. And, you know, zooming out uh, makes a little bit of sense because we know um, the electric field the electric field is, you know, um, something, something, one over R squared, right? So assuming that these are opposite charges, right? The, the closer that these things get to each other, the uh, um, smaller term R gets, so the smaller the R distance between these two, and the smaller something in the denominator, denominator gets, the bigger the electric field uh, um, has on it. So that means um, you're going to see an increase in energy whenever they um, uh, get closer together. So that makes, uh, makes sense as we uh, move through this problem.